Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Game Play. I have loaded up a game here called Frogs and Flies, and I know nothing about it, really, other than what I'm seeing on the screen right now. I don't know when it's from. It's by the Nighthawk Group. Now I'm going to have a quick search for Frogs and Flies. Frogs and Flies. Nighthawk Group, 1982. Arcade game. Catch them. Meaning action game. All right, let's get the old gamepad into play here. Let's see here. Select for normal game, easy game, easy game or normal game. What? Press select for easy. Oh, I see. Okay, I press start to begin a normal game. All right. This this seems like probably a two. Oops. Probably a two-player game. Uh, okay, tongue jumping, jumping, jumping. Catch not catching flies. There's no sound? Is there no sound? Oh boy. How do you... whoops. Can you not jump? Whoa, look at me go. It seems odd that there's no sound effects. Am I... did I do something weird here? <laughs> no, I don't think I've done anything odd. Huh, how strange. All right. Uh, oh, go in the water. At least you don't drown. Okay, so that... Catching flies seems to be a little on the challenging side. Okay, you can have a much smaller jump. Can you jump backwards? Oh, you can. Oops. <laughs> okay. Apparently, I'm not very good at this. Oh, hey, there is sound effects if you catch a fly. All right, I got two flies. I am the king of the world. Apparently. Uh, that's not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> now I get to swim from half a mile off the screen. Okay, clearly a two-player game. Nope. All right. Oh, I feel like I feel like I should have got one on that first stratospheric rise. So the only sound effect seems to be when you catch a fly, and the fly dodged me. Cool. I have now four points, and my static enemy has none, because he's a loser. Oops. Okay, that was not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Oh boy, I can do a lot better with controlling things if I don't, uh... I don't even know what I was going to say. Alrighty, well can sort of see my way to some strategies here, but uh, only sort of. Uh, I don't have a second... Oh, time's up. Time's up, I guess, once the night comes. Time's up once the night comes. Alrighty. Well... I think, I think, as has become my normal assumption here, much better two-player game. Hang on a second. I'm going to see if I can set up a two-player game between me and myself. Pausing. Okay, I have possibly, although, hmm, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this very effectively, but it might, maybe I can alternate a little bit. 
All right, let's see if I can make this go. So I have, ah, uh, yes, there we go. I can control both fro <laughs> both frogs. And uh, I could put, however, there we go, got one. Now comes the other player. Get out for revenge. Oops. I was trying, uh, trying and failing to do a shorter height jump. Okay. That is it for the failing player one. Player two is going to get to play for a couple minutes here. Oh, with great success. Whoops. Well, maybe not great success. Some success. Oh no, player two goes into the water. Okay, that'll be my cue for switching players. I was not trying to go high that time. Okay, you fell in the water, dude. So, oop, so did you. Sucks to be both of you. Oh boy. Okay, fell in the water, but I got myself a fly. Oop. Did not get a fly. You know what? Player one so far behind, he's going to get another chance. Oop, 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 oop. Look at me flailing my tongue out. Ah, okay. All right. Back to player two. Oh, right in the water. Well, I've already sent my rules out the window. It's a pain, it's a pain in the ass to switch controls, so... Oh, come on now. Okay, one more big jump, or little jump rather. And one big one, and now it's player one's chance here. Must try to get a few more flies into my belly before nightfall. Come on. F failing miserably. Wow, these flies are hard to catch, man. There we go. Okay, now your two gets another shot at it. Come on. Come on. All right, back to player one. Wow, this is tough. Tough to nab those flies. Their movement is just erratic enough that it's hard. I feel like they kind of avoid the the uh, frog in flight as well. Is my time up? My time is. Oh, you can still stick tongues out, but meh 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 meh. Both simultaneously. Bleh. 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 Alternating. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, that is um, okay. I've certainly seen worse games. Not very deep. Maybe, maybe, maybe aimed at younger kids, although the flies, well, the flies are nicely animated. The flies' erratic behavior, flying patterns, which I guess is kind of like flies, um, makes it pretty tough to actually nab them. And uh, there's a creature in that tree that does nothing except peer out with its glowing eyes. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little more sound. Maybe a jumping sound would have been nice. Maybe a different jumping sound for each frog. Maybe a little tongue sticking out sound. Maybe some fly buzzing noises. I don't know. It's okay. Nothing special. It's okay. Pretty nice looking lily pads. And uh, with that, I'm a done looking at frogs and flies. Thanks so much for watching. You take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.